Hi, and welcome back to another Langmuir Systems Fusion 360 tutorial video. In this video, we'll be covering adding text to your sketches for CNC plasma cutting. Depending on your experience, using programs like Inkscape or Illustrator and then importing SVG files into Fusion 360 may offer more powerful features for text or art-heavy projects. That said, let's demonstrate the text functionality by making a simple sign. Start by creating a new sketch and drawing the outline of our sign with a two-point rectangle. We'll make the sign 4 inches by 18 inches to fit on the crossfire. Next, we'll add some text. In the sketch dropdown, choose the text function. With the text function selected, use your mouse cursor to specify the text position. Don't worry about getting it exactly right, as we'll adjust this later. After the position has been specified, a text dialog box pops up with the options for the text function. The first thing you'll do is enter in the text you want to appear. In this example, I'm making a sign for Danny's Garage, so I'll put in Danny's Garage. Next, you'll want to adjust the size of the text to fit your sign. You can do this by changing the height variable to adjust the size of the characters. Now the most important thing to note about CNC Plasma Cut text is that without using a proper font or adjusting an existing font, characters with fully enclosed profiles, like the top portions of the A and R characters here, will simply fall out of your sign. The easiest way to combat this is to use a stencil type font. You can also manually add connections to the positive portions of your sign, but I would recommend using another program to do this. To edit text you've already placed, simply double click it in your sketch. That'll bring up the text dialog box. Then you can easily change your font. I have a stencil font loaded up here, but if you don't, Fusion 360 uses your system fonts, so you can just download and install one from any number of websites. Now with this new font, we'll make the size a little bit bigger and hit OK. With the text placed, we can drag it around our sign to center it a little bit better. That looks good. I think Danny will be happy with that. Thanks for watching this text tutorial. We'll see you next time.